Uh, welcome back guys uh, to the interview tutorials and uh, we are back with the second part for glide path so let's see the practical approach so how we can design the glide path so it's not necessary guys we can uh, do it in a different format as well but I am just using this format and it's quite easy and it's totally done by the brainstorming activity guys so no any certain format available for it or else no any pre-designed uh, format is there so that we can design the glide path so let's go with the definition so here the definition says for the glide path is so we got the target as 98 percent that need to be achieved correct but at certain time for two weeks we will consider this as in two weeks for two weeks the target was yet not achieved now a manager told us why the target was not achieved and just share us the glide path for the next two weeks that you will certain certainly will you will guys will reach to the 98 percent so this is the activity which we have received so what I did I just gone through my employee name and I just added their uh, fair audit percentage of last two weeks so if you want to know uh, like if you want to know like what is fair audit percent how we can calculate you can go with my past videos wherein you will get to know how to uh, get the fair audit percentage and all so you will definitely get the understanding from that particular video so I just added last two week fair audit percentage of my associates now I am identifying I'm using one formula that is uh, quotile dot inc I'll tell you guys how this formula will work so I'm just deleting these two things and I'm just starting formula qua quotile dot inc you can see this and it will ask you the array array which means the entire score don't take grand total okay and then comma one one means first quartile, second means medium quartile, third means third quartile and fourth means uh, max quartile. So what does it mean? So guys there are total four quartiles, one, two, three, four. Quartiles are divided in four ways. So first quartile, second, third and fourth. The first will be your lowest score that will be BQ. And second and third will be your uh, MQ1 and MQ2 or else you can also consider BQ1 and BQ2. Maybe two, two categories are you guys are dividing in uh, BQ and other you guys are dividing in MQ and TQ so it's totally depend on your understanding how you guys are dividing it so I'm just going with first and I got certain percentage at 94.2% so it's a 94.2% correct so what I understood here is if we go with the entire score I'm getting a quartile percentage that is 94.2 which means the guys who are below to this are in BQ below to this are in BQ if I'm applying same formula with keeping the percentage at 2 so below to uh, more than 95 the guys will comes under MQ and if I'm keeping third quartile more than 96 the guys will comes under uh, MQ and the last for fourth the guys will come under uh, okay so last here it is it's going uh, beyond the targets so we'll use these three numbers now this is again your understanding guys there is no certain formula for it it totally depend on your scores the guys uh, who have achieved now with the help of my associate score I can clearly see I just sort it from uh, higher to lower lower you can clearly see the associate like this Manohar, Fatima, Venkat they guys got lowest score again as per the company knows our target is 98 so these guys got a lower score but now how I will divide it so what I'm thinking I'm just keeping here as four categories the first one here is uh, bq1 mq1 mq2 and tq you can also keep bq1 bq2 mq1 mq2 and tq we are only going with bq1 and 2 don't go with bq3 or mq3 and all so just go with these categories it totally depend on your associate scores 
on your brainstorming activity on your uh, associate targets how you guys are categorizing them so as per my scores i can see the lowest is on 91 which means i don't require uh, the it, it's not a big deal for me to achieve 98 or else it's not uh, required here to keep my 94 and 95 percent associate in bq or else 93 and 92 also so what i did i just kept my one associate in bq that is below to 92 so what i did below to 92 i kept in bq and rest two categories i divided into 92 to 95 and 96 to 97 okay how i got this particular thing on the basis of my associate performance i know that the guys who are in 96 to 97 96 to 97 only one associate is there this is Mahesh and I know this associate will definitely improve his score I know about this associate it's totally depend on on your thought your thought process and the associate who are in 92 to 95 this 92 to 95 yes I know this out of this uh, five associates three to four associates are there who definitely improve their scores on the basis of their last performance and rest for the TQ who are more than 98 so guys I can't say that the guys will do more improvement because there are some chances there will be a dip in their scores maybe may not be so I'm thinking I don't want any extra or additional improvement from those but yeah yes if they are giving me then that's okay and that's a good thing so in this way I divided my associates now what I did I just means mentioned certain percentage here that for my BQ associate and I'm I'm doing this activity for next 15 days see guys now you I need to divide this I need to decide my uh, this actual target of next 15 days next 15 days means next two weeks you can also go with weekly you can also go with for the entire month totally depend on you and uh, what I'm thinking that for my that BQ associate I know every day there will be at least 0.5 percent improvement on it on him I'm just thinking guys it's just a thought process so what I did you can see this uh, this is the score guys and how this got calculated so BQ there is only one associate who is below to 92 that is, so that is the reason I kept the score as 91.80 here for MQ1 I kept the uh, uh, percentage 92 to 95 which means 92 to 94.7 which 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 give me average as around 93.47 you can get the average so I kept the average score here same I calculated for MQ2 and uh, same I calculated for TQ. TQ more than 98 which means I will go with this associate and the average is 99.08. And uh, this is the overall average guys. Okay. So for day 1 I, I just done the audit of the associate and I got to know uh, that uh, my associate did the improvement or not. It totally depend on your achieve guys. This is the achieve one. So this is the actual I am just assuming that for my BQ associate if he is doing 0.5 improvement on daily basis you can see i just what i did here is i just sum 91.80 to 0.50 and i just continued this every time i'm uh, adding my score with 0 0.50 and at last he is coming to 99.30 it, it is just an assumption guys same i did uh, some that I, I i i just observed that my mq1 associate will do 0.10 improvement 0.10 and I assume that my 5 associates who are in MQ2, they will do 0.5% improvement on daily basis. And for TQ, I think, yes, they have done their job and I don't find any improvement here. Yet, if they are doing, it's a good thing for me. It totally depends on assumption, guys. It totally depends on assumption. Okay, so I just added the score and finally I'm getting 97.73 and it's nearly to 98%. Now what I will do, I will do day on day audits and I will add their scores here. On the basis of score, I can identify on which associate, on which uh, bucket I need to target so that I can improve my score. So this is all about uh, glide path guys. In this way you can design your glide path and totally depend on your brainstorming guys. You can move the score here and there, it totally depend on you guys, how much improvement you are thinking that you will get from the associate. Uh, that's all from my side guys and i believe you got the exact information and uh, thanks a lot thanks for watching guys please do like share subscribe if you still have any doubt please do comment guys and uh, let's work on next video i just want a suggestion from you guys that on which topic you require the another video